All right, guys, welcome back to the new beginnings from the modded Misfits server. Hope you guys are all having a fantastic day. We're out here in front of our base again. Not much has happened since last episode, except for maybe all of this. Uh, oh, that door didn't close. Uh, so, very cool thing. Uh, I went ahead and built, uh, I kind of spruced up this room a little bit. Got some dark, strip dark oak here. We got some fur planks. Uh, these things are looking amazing. Um, and I moved, or got rid of all of our chests over there. We have our, uh, our plants over here. Got some dark oak saplings in the bonsai plants. Again, it's dark oak, some sticks. We even got our apple trees over here. We even got fir, uh, fir saplings. So we're getting the fir wood, and that's the wood you're seeing up here. I really do like this wood color. Uh, and I also like this archway a lot. Um... Yeah, so uh, as you can see here, we kind of punched a hole out here. We'll talk about that in a second. Uh, but guys, this system has been running like crazy. We have been doing fantastic with our ores, as you can see. We have so much iron, we can't even shake a stick at all of it. <laughs> so that, yeah, we have a lot. Uh, but today, guys, as you can see from the thumbnail, we're going to be making a windmill. Now, I want to have windmills on each side of this now we're going to be using uh immersive engineering now most of you guys won't have this by default in the pack you'll have to add it uh we decided to add it just so we can have another power option in the game and it's a really cool steampunky type uh mod um so we're gonna go ahead and give this a shot here um so i'm gonna fill this in here we're gonna have to move our um our thing over here unfortunately our sugar cane uh, but the fact that we're getting into immersive engineering means that we shouldn't really have to worry about it that, all that much. Because uh, we'll be able to grow a lot of these guys. So, do not fear. Super Turtle is here. Uh, and we're going to make this windmill pretty big. And I'm pretty excited. So, let's see about that. Okay. So, we got the bottom part here kind of made. Uh, we're going to have a little link going from here into our base. It's going to be like a little tunnel going in. Um, and that's where our power will be run through or we might do it through the basement here But inside uh, at each of these little areas. We're gonna have a water mill going around and around uh, So you should be able to see it from outside. It should look pretty cool uh, even though these are odd I might have to have two running uh, but anyway, so we're gonna have water mills in here windmills up at the top and then so this is a 16 long chunk here, uh, so we're gonna copy this one above here uh, so it should look pretty good. Uh, let's go ahead and do that now. All right, so we got the base built here. Uh, let me actually grab some dirt from over here. Yeah, we'll grab these two. I don't like seeing that. Uh, actually, I'd rather have one more. Uh, that way it just looks like there's. it's not just flush or, yeah, flush up against the dirt. Um, okay, so that already looks better. So this is what we're going to be doing. We're going to have it sealed off because I've decided we're going to run the power underneath. Um, and I do have six glass remaining, so we are going to break two glass. It's kind of, kind of foolish to seal it off. I had a feeling I shouldn't have, but uh, that's what we're going to do. So we are going to run... It's going to be a two by two. So that way, that way. Okay, so here, this is where we're going to run our power underneath the ground and over to our base. Um, and then they have the windows here, so we'll be able to see inside, which will be really cool. Uh, so this is how it looks inside. I think it looks pretty good. Uh, we might end up putting, um, like, half slabs for the polished marble along here, um, just so it kind of looks like it matches the top. Uh, but we might end up leaving that. I am working on extending this out because we need to work on the next area to go up. So I would like to have a total of eight water mills and four windmills. And we're all do we're doing this because we'll be getting into refined storage, and we need a, a decent source of power, a continuous power that comes in. Uh, so as you can see here, we have all the stuff we need to get this. We need to have a total of four, eight, twelve of these thermal electric generators, uh, which all require Constantine. Uh, I don't know if we're gonna be able to get to these today. Uh, but I do want to go ahead and get the coke oven set up, which we need sand or sandstone, clay, and bricks. Uh, let's see here. I do have a bunch of bricks. Um, yeah, we even have more down here. I got a bunch of clay and even more bricks. Um, and I just, I think I just deposited a bunch of sand. We don't want to smelt up all the sand. Uh, I just want to take a stack. Yeah, you can have that. Okay, so if we come over here, we should see the coke bricks somewhere. Um, does it have to be sandstone? 
Yes, it has to be sandstone. Okay. Oh my gosh, that was way too many. <laughs> okay, we need to make an engineer's hammer, which is just two iron. Uh, okay, that means we can actually set up two of these guys, because you only need 27. I don't think it's enough for two of them, but we will be having more than one. Um, we'll let Butcher know. Or Naragath, whoever wants to borrow some, they can borrow it. Okay, so let's get our engineer's hammer built up here. Okay, bam. So we need to put this somewhere. Hama! Mopow, baby. So one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. Let's see here. Uses, okay, it doesn't show us. I don't remember if it has to be hollow, but we're gonna try it without it being hollow. Okay, it doesn't have to be hollow. And we have enough, I think. So we need to go ahead and do, oh yeah. So what we're gonna need to do is grab some coal from over here. I do have this auto feeding into our coal generator. It just shoots out. Um, but we need to set the coal up so it starts to put this over here and then we can take it out with a, with a bucket. Um, now this is gonna take a while here. So I need to go AFK and let this coal kind of burn a bit and go into coal coke. So I will go AFK over here and I will be back once we have a bit of creosote oil built up. Okay, so we got some more stuff here. I actually got the, uh, the finished up the glass. So let's go ahead and build the second portion of our windmill. Uh, if we come here like so, we should get a pretty cool looking pattern going. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to keep this layer, the stone brick. We can go ahead and check that out after we are done with this. Okay, so coming over here. Okay, so this is how it's going to look from the outside. Uh, I think it would be cool if we did some beams here coming up like so. You might be asking yourself, why did I do this uh, an even number if we're going to have windmills? Um, well, it's got to look good compared to our base. For some reason, I just thought about not making it the, the even. Mm. Oh, well. <laughs> uh, let's see here. So we went up three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We're going to go up a total of 15. Yes. Oh, that's going to hurt. This is going to require a lot of stone brick. Okay, and we really want to see how how good it looks being this high up. We're going to have to eat again. All right, so the, the bulk part of the tower has been made. I want to show you guys what I did. We went up 15 all the way around. Or just kidding, not all the way around, but for, for here. But this is how tall it's going to be. I want to go up actually another back five blocks. But we need to start working on the other items for it, like the water mill and the windmill. So I'm going to, I went ahead here and we made up a whole bunch of the creosote oil. Check it out. Bam, it's all full. So let's go ahead and grab some buckets here because we're going to need to make some treated wood. Uh, and if we go here like this, we can make a bunch of buckets. Let's have a look. Yep, 11 total. That's plenty. Okay, so if we put all these here, we can get this thing running again, and the cool thing is, is coal coke takes a lot longer to burn, uh, so we can upgrade. Upgrades, people, upgrades. So treated wood is what we want. Now we need to put, yep, we need to put the bucket of creosote oil. It's going to be a little manual to do, unfortunately. But we can automate this or make it faster when we get into refined storage, which is fun. Automation. Good times. Good times. Okay, so we got some treated wood planks going. Let's go ahead and we will start with some water mills. Now, to make these, we're going to need a few sticks, like so. Okay, there we go. Let's put some of the wood away. I was going to make the roof, but we're going up a bit more. I've also got some more stone smelting up, so that's good. Okay, now I believe to make the water mill, we need... Oh, we only need four. So we're going to make two to right off the bat. And we need steel, which is the coal... Yes, where did it go? There it is, here you are. So, bam, bam, get these guys going together, good. 
Okay, so now we need to work on getting some of these, because we're going to have two. Constantine, okay. So it looks like the best way to that we're going to be able to do this is by combining copper dust and nickel dust. So let's go ahead and get some copper. Get some nickel. Um, is it one-to-one -one for this? Yes, it's one-to-one. -one. Okay, so... We're going to do a total of 12 of these. And we're going to have to come back here. I'm going to break this block here. We're going to put the nickel in. So it's going to start grinding this up. Yes, it's going to start uh, turning it into dust, and we'll be back once it's all done with the br copper as well. All right, so we have our nickel and copper all finished to smelting up. Let's go ahead and reconnect our processing system here. Ooh, bakaby. So let's see here. Um, if we go like a this, and we combine it to make this, we get 12. Oh, yeah. All right, now let's get this smelted up here. Perfect. Okay, we do have our hammer for that. Okay, now we need to make some copper coil. Uh, so we're gonna need to make this guy. We need two sticks. So we got the two sticks. Okay, we need some iron. We got the iron. Okay, let's make snips. The wire cutters. Beautiful. Okay, let's grab some copper. Oh my gosh, we need to get copper. Okay, this is not working. Why? What is wrong? Am I forgetting to do something? Do I have to smash it first? I do have to smash it first. Okay. And it does take durability. Freaking heck. Oh, well. Okay, so we got a total of 13 of these guys. Now let's go ahead and make this copper coil. Uh, to do that, we just need a stick. Okay. Uh, we might need some more sticks. Okay. It's one, one to one, which is not fun. <laughs> totally rhymed. Okay, now I wonder, I don't think we're able to, we need to make two of these. Now what are we missing? We're missing four of these copper wires. Oh, we just need normal sticks. What am I doing? We don't need treated wood sticks. I feel like a stupid idiot. Okay, so let's see here. Make some more. I'm out of the copper wire. What? Why are you already out of copper? You stupid idiot. Come on. Okay. I'm talking to myself, the stupid idiot. Don't worry. Don't worry. I'm not talking to you. You guys are beautiful. Okay, so we got more of that. Let us make some more of these. Perfect. All right, so we got two of these going for our water mills. Perfect. Now we just need that Constantine to finish up, and we do need some steel. How are we doing with steel? We've got two. We've got two steel. Okay, so we are missing one more steel. That's okay. We got plenty of iron for all that steel. Okay, so that should be okay, which is good. Which is good. All right, so our Constantine is done. We can go ahead and uh, smash it with a hammer, like a so. Okay, so now we should be able to make one of these bad boys. Yeah, okay. So we do have enough to make another one after we get some more Constantine. Um, let's see here. I do have some copper. Uh, okay, so we do have, we we actually have enough to make one more, but I'm going to be out of nickel after that. Uh, so I will get this system over here. The cool thing is with this system is I can just break this block, this guy, and then I just throw the cons the copper and nickel in here, and it will eventually get rid of all of them and put them into there, and I just come back in a little bit, and it's done. Very neato Toledo, if you do ask me, but anyways, anywho, we got one. Now, let's go ahead, and I believe we needed a piece of steel. Yes. Okay, so I also need to get more steel going. And we'll check it out. We already got more steel going because I am ahead of the game. So, yeah. So, we have both of these going. Perfect. Now, we also have our LV wire coils, which are amazing. But we're going to need to get something to attach those to. Okay, so let's go ahead and get rid of this menu on our left here. Okay, so we need these anchor points. And we attach our copper wire. Now, this is a high voltage one. We don't need high voltage. Uh, we need medium or medium or low voltage. No, I don't remember where they are. Here's wire connector. 
Yeah, so we're just going to do these because these are copper. Wait, what are you? Are you easy? Oh, these are iron. We're doing these ones. So we just need to grab some clay. I should have some clay left unless I used it all. Nope, I didn't use it all. I think I was being smart for the first time ever being smart, right? Okay, need to craft it up in two by two. We need to go ahead and smelt these. And I just realized that we didn't need to make any more Constantine because we had another six in here waiting to be smelted because I was an idiot. That's a big oof on my part. It's a big oof. We're wasting that nickel. And it's already done. Check that out. Pretty neato. Toledo, huh? We can put these buckets together. We can consolidate, improvise, adapt, overcome. You know the drill. Okay, so here, here, we will just add them to this one. Yeah. Okay, so we just need one more smelted up. Beautiful. Okay, now we smack it with a hammer. Kapow. Boomtastic. And cool, we have both of our thermal connector guyos. All right, so let's see. Uh, we need some iron on our inventory. On our inventory, I mean in our inventory, sorry. Um, let's grab... Oh, I did it again, what the frick? Let's put the, the glass in its own little spot. Yeah. Okay, so the clay is now done getting smelted into terracotta. So we're going to go ahead and make one of these uh, MV wire connectors, and then we're also going to make a wire relay, and that will help us get back from the other place to here. Words. Okay, so let's go ahead and get these bad boys set up. I need some building blocks so I can play. Yeah, we got we got build blocks. We got, we got dirt. Okay, so let's go ahead and get over to the left of our base over here. Looking pretty schmexy, if you ask me. Okay, so let's get in here. All right. So we are going to... Well, let's just see how big this thing is. If I just place it like that. Mm, mm, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I mean, that'll run. So it's one, two, three, four. Off, oh, wait. One, two, three. Yeah, four off the ground. Okay. That's good to know. Okay, it's not working. Houston, we have a problem. Psychotic Butcher left, we have a problem. Hmm, give me one second. <laughs> okay, so I did make an oopsie. These are these are the thermoelectric generators. These are not what we wanted. We we wanted these kinetic dynamos, which are much easier to make. <gasps> oh, but these will process power for us. Ah, yeah. Mm. I got nothing. I derped <laughs> big time. We need these guys, the kinetic dynamos. Okay. Well, um. We need to make these copper coils, and um, I got a little bit of copper left. Ah, <laughs> uh, shnikes. What am I going to do with myself? I'm just going to love myself. Okay, where are my snips? We need to get some more copper again, because I'm a freaking idiot. Oh, wait, it's a stick. Yes. Okay, you guys are probably screaming, like, what are you doing? Don't be that much of an idiot, please. And it's like, no, I'm that much of an idiot. Okay, so we just need redstone. Dear Lord, this took way too long. But the good thing is we have more passive power, which I guess is a good thing. Hindsight being 2020, I mean, it's good, but, uh, yeah. I don't know. Okay, so let's go ahead. <sighs> Do it right this time. We'll put these over there somewhere. Something like that. Okay. So, over here, we place this like that. Yep, it's got the port. And pow. Um, let's see. Does this even fit? Oh, my gosh. It barely fits. I don't even know if there's enough room. Um, we'll make... I, I, get, I think it'll work. I think it'll work. That's going to be kind of cool looking because we're going to have a whole bunch of those. We're going to have one of those in each one that's going to 
technically they're going to be balanced because they're all going to be to the left or to the right. I don't know where I placed it. Uh, and then we'll work off of that. But let's also a battery for immersive engineering. Um, I think it's called the capacitor box or something. Yeah. Okay. So low voltage, lead, copper. Oh, look, give me more copper. We don't have any copper. Oh, well. What are we going to do? We're going to have a good time. Okay. We're straight up going to have a good time. Okay. So let's get, we need the uh, backing for that. I believe, yep, these are done. We're gonna just back these with some stone brick. Uh, eight by eight, that'll cover. Where'd you go? Not my Joe, there you go. Now I'm pretty sure these guys, the thermoelectric generators, you just place these by lava and Water, I do believe, and they produce power. Okay, so we're just going to place this here, and then we're gonna go up to the top and place the water in. Um, yeah, look at that, we got a bucket. Okay, yeah, so that will work. I gotta place it. Over here, I think. I think it's turning the wrong way, though. Okay, so this thing should be producing power, technically. Yeah, we're just going to leave that there. I'm going to go grab some more water. We need to put it at the bottom. Well, let's see. Does that look stupid or something from the outside? Mm, not really. Not as stupid as I thought it would look. <laughs> okay, so let's go ahead and get in here. Um, we are going to block off that front area. So it's just a direct stream. Okay, and then we're going to place a water source down in the bottom corner, and that way we should be getting maximum speedage from our guy. Yeah. Okay, place him here. Should update. Okay. Um, now, oops. Now we should have power. This thing is, uh, yeah, this thing's generating power already, which is cool. That's been covered up. And we pro we'll probably change the glass color, uh, but let's have a look here. Let's see how cool this is looking. Ah, it's not looking that cool. We might need to update that one so it helps it flow a little bit more. That's a source. This is not. Nope, not there. Okay, I think we're good. <sighs> All right, we did one. Now we need to put a wire connector here like so. Um, we can set up relays. Like that. So each one of these will have. Oh, I don't have any more. Oh my gosh. Uh, this is all going out of crazy. So I just went out and hunted for some copper, and I totally forgot that I threw a whole bunch of copper into my system there. And I also have nickel in here too. So yeah, we can make some more things. Good. I'm not gonna get mad or anything at all. <sighs> it's been a day. <laughs> so let's go ahead here. We're going to... I don't want to do all of them. We're going to grab just a few more of these. We're going to cut them into... Oh, we got to smash them first. That's right. 
Okay, and then we gotta snip them. There's a way to automate this. Or not automate it. Yeah, actually there is a way to automate it, and we'll do that later. Uh, but let's see here. I believe, is it iron for this? No, it's the sticks. I keep forgetting. Okay, so we got 16 more, good. Let's go ahead and get these connected here. Um, so I can put this here and this here. We're gonna have to punch a hole in this wall. Just We're just gonna test this out. We're obviously gonna run this underneath eventually. Um, but we're gonna put a relay here and we are going to connect our copper wires here. What? Oh, that's low voltage. I need medium voltage wire, huh? Um, okay, we made a mistake. I thought you could use low voltage on these guys. Uh, apparently you cannot. And to do the medium voltage, you need tough fabric, which takes hemp fibers and hemp seeds. And Wait, that's insulated. This is not insulated. We need electrum. Just kidding. Don't listen to anything I'm saying. Silver and gold, that's made up with silver dust. Actually, let's go ahead and make that. We got plenty of each. Um, let's see, silver, there you are. Make 16. Okay, we can do that. Let's go ahead and disconnect our guy back here like we always do for this. Throw our dudes in here. And for the time being, we'll block this off. Okay, so I'll be back. All right, so our items have finished doing that. As you can see, I was AFK for a bit just watching it because that's what my life has come to, watching things get crushed. All right, so we got some Electrum here. Perfect. Let's go ahead and get that smelted up there. Okay, so medium voltage wire. Now, if you do run into this, it will hurt you, uh, which is why people would want to do the, the insulated one. So tough fabric. It's made with just sticks and fiber. Now, in order to get that, yeah, industrial hemp seeds, you got to throw them into garden cloche and you get the hemp fibers. We could, we'll, we, we'll be setting that up later. Um, but let's see here. Those, these generators will be very good for a uh, refined storage system, which can you believe by epi next episode, we could possibly have that up and running. Um, that would be crazy. I'm going to need to go to the nether because I did smelt up some quartz. Uh, we have 29 more, uh, but we're going to need more than that. Um, so I'll have to see here. Our diamond supply is low because of all these pipes that we made last episode. But let's see here. Okay, we just need one more to smelt up. Let's just go ahead and grab them. Um, and that's right. we got to smash them. Smash them, boil them, put them in a stew, right? Isn't that how you do it? Okay, we got our extra one. Perfect. Or not extra one, but our final one. Let's smash them, boil them, put them in a stew. Then we're gonna cut them, slice. There should be two for this. Like you're gonna tell me you cut you cut the plate in half and you only got one of those. Bull crap, wasteful. Okay, so let's let's get this far departed over here. We're gonna knock out this wall. Oh, it's nighttime. We shouldn't have knocked out that wall. It's too too dark. Too dark. We're in a steppe. That's what we're called. It's like a plateau. Like, everything around is like a, like a sheer drop-off almost. I'll show you in a second. But yeah, everywhere around us at our base, it's like a sheer drop-off. It's actually pretty cool. Blame Butcher, because he's the one who found this place. Okay, so medium voltage here and here. Yes. Yes, birds on a wire. Come here, Mr. Zumbert. Slice. Missed. All right, so we should be able to connect this here as well. And... To here, yes. There should be no power coming through that. Oh, shoot. Oh, well. And then to here. Not like this. Like this. All right, there should be power now. Is there not power? These are being generated. They flow over. Um, actually, let's go ahead. We're going to break this. All the coal is going to fly out. It's okay. Okay. And then we're going to break this guy. 
Okay, we're gonna put all of our guy up there. Um, our diamond dude. Okay, let's see. So if we throw in some tin. It's not going down. But I'm not getting hurt by these things. Which is really weird, because that's how I was going to test to make sure it was working. I mean, it seems to be working. Because this isn't going down, and there's no power other than that being supplied to it. So I'm pretty sure we're working. Um, yeah, I'm I'm like 99.9% .9 sure that we are cooking. Oh, yep, can't place that there. Okay, so now if we disconnect. Power going down. Yeah, baby. We are cooking with fire. Yeah, okay, so we should be able to place. Nope, can't place that block there. Okay, um, all right guys, so I went ahead and finished the outside of this guy, except for this over here. Don't worry about this. Don't, don't see it. Unsee it with your brain. Just unsee it. Um, yeah, so we got our water mills all in the corners here. It's looking pretty neat. I did go ahead and do that just to see if it would help it move a little bit more. Uh, let's break our way in. I'll show you guys what we got going on in here. Okay, so we got some medium... Uh, MV wire relays. Uh, so it's coming in from each one of these coming into here We're gonna put a little ladder here eventually as we get up into the top for the windmills. I'll be doing off-camera uh, But yeah, so these just allow you to connect multiple cables to them um, So we are we also have the thermal electric generators here um, You need to have water on like the corners here <clears throat> on the corresponding side and then lava over there uh, Just an FYI if you guys are trying to do the same uh, use those guys because they just make passive power and then they come on down here and over to our base over that way and I don't think that I thought this through all the way when I hopped down here uh, but yes so it's actually it's the next day believe it or not uh, I did a heck ton of work off camera you guys are gonna be so proud of me let's get on out there I'll show you guys what I did it's pretty neat Okay, so if we come over this way, you can see there's a beacon here. Um, and then if we, or not a beacon, but a, a thingy. And then if we come over this, what is this? Oh, don't worry about that. If we come over here, you can see this cobblestone wall. And you're probably wondering, hey, you, what's this cobblestone wall? And this is exactly what it's supposed to do. Uh, this is to most, supposed to make you pause and look at it. Because I chiseled this all the way down to, I think, Y level 3 or something like that this is a slime chunk that we desperately need for refined storage and I'll show you guys down here oh Shah just joined very cool if we go here slime AFK uh, yes we can come over here and I went ahead and made up a slime farm guys it's pretty neat I, I was actually playing with Shah last night and found this um, <clears throat> and the slime in a bucket if you guys do let me see um, this guy here. So this is supposed to tell you when you're in a slime chunk. Um, he will jump in and out of the, of that little bucket there and it'll show you, but it is very buggy and does not work. It was telling me that I had a slime chunk going for like 16 chunks in either direction. Uh, but I did end up just punching it into, um, the slime chunk finder and we got it. Uh, unfortunately there's no slime spawning in. I do have some iron golems over here. They're up in those little cubbies. Uh, it's not the best thing in the world because after a little bit, we'll be able to get the uh, slime seeds and we will have no need for this farm anymore. Let's see. Can you see the golem? Yeah, you can see the golem. He's over there. Uh, but yeah, it's very simple when you got a hammer. I literally just opened up the chunk boundaries and just started digging down with this hammer because it's a three by three and it, uh, it really did uh, really did the job. Um, yeah, so next episode, because we have the slime farm now, uh, we can go ahead and get into refined storage, and that's what we're going to be doing on episode three. But guys, if you did enjoy the video, please make sure to hit that like button, and as always, don't forget to subscribe. And you, if you guys are wondering why I'm running around so fast, it's because I have these nimble boots on that make me pretty quick. So anyways, guys, I hope you all have a fantastic day. I'll see you later. Peace out. Bye-bye.